hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tembisa wow I have not been here for a week I've been busy I've been busy doing things so I want to show you some of the things I have been doing before we do that welcome back again thank you for all the likes thank you for the new subscribers Thank you for interacting in my channel and enjoying the content. Guys, remember last week I took pictures, a video of my outside toilet, which was in such a state of dilapidation. And I told you that I'll be doing some work, DIY work. And I also told you that I plan not to spend any money on it because I literally also just want to demonstrate to you that you know you can be creative obviously one must have time to do things and of course um, you know uh, the material that I will use I mean I'm always collecting stuff so I always have stuff lying around so I'll show you some of the stuff that I have and so let me show you it's a small area so it shouldn't take that long but i'm going to face the camera to where you know i want you to see and please go and look at the before video unfortunately at this stage i cannot i don't edit you know i'm very much new into this thing so i'm literally raw and keeping it like that so i won't be able to like give you a before and after i have not learned how to do that but you get what i'm saying and i'm going to just show you you know you can have a nice interesting space which you don't have to do much so let's have a look all right so as you can see i'm entering the toilet and i want to show you what i've done on the floor and on the walls you know i was just literally free-flowing and decided to throw some paint on the wall and I think it came out very nice. Also, what made me do this is when I realized that this toilet is outside, so there's leaves and everything, you know, that blows into the toilet. So if I had decided to put in tiles, um, you know, it would, one can see that, you know, there's leaves and dust, you know, it's, you know, dirty, but you know i'm keeping it rustic so you can you you can't even tell i mean right now it's full of all the stuff that's blowing in here from outside but you're not able to see that because it looks all funky and arty and you know modern art type of situation so yeah you guys can do this see this vase that i'm trying to show you here i picked it up you know in these where did i pick this one up because i go to places like cash crusaders i go to you know funny places where you can pick up a lot of rubbish and then i just paint it put a coat of paint restore it and all of that i painted the walls so you can see the gray and white um you know i've divided it just to give it a bit of effect so you can see i've done some pictures over here some pictures over here just to keep it warm make it warm i've painted some stones so you can see so you can see here the pictures oh there's pictures I've had for ages and then I've just you know did some dot painting on it you can see the window treatment over there thought oh no I'm lazy to make a curtain so I'm just gonna throw something there it's just like a stick and you know tie some 
uh, ribbons, you know, it looks, uh, you know, like a uh, vintage type of situation. And if you can see the mirror over there and the rope, you know, um, yeah, look at that, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me what you think. Let me just show you here. I hope it's not too dark. I'm closing the light. You see over there, you know, some stuff that I pick up from trash and, you know, you just bring it to life. And Bob's your uncle. Look at that. I did not spend one cent. All the things that are here were things that were in my storage. Can you see the peg bag? The peg bag. Oh, and some dried flowers that I hung here. Oh, it's they smell so divine. They smell so divine. Do you know what? Like, I always think, you know, whenever, like, you go to a bathroom or a toilet, you know, somewhere, and then I always feel like, where is the thing to put my bag? Because, you know, us ladies, we always have bags when we go to a bathroom. So this toilet is, like, outside. So my guests, uh, you know, when we obviously are hanging out outside, if not, of course, you know, they can use the guest toilet inside. But like, especially, you know, when we have a lot of people, then maybe somebody else is already there. They can come here. Then, you know, I don't have to feel embarrassed about it. The thing is, you know, the point that I'm at is that it does not have to be fancy. You don't have to get in like you know, people to pay. I did it by myself. Myself and my husband did this job. You know, if there was something that, but basically everything, the only place my husband helped me today. Oh, no, 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 he did. Let me not discredit him. This um, dividing plank, you know, he helped me to stick that on. But literally, it's already like that. And so we had to cut 45 degree angles. So, you know, he had to help me a little bit there. And so eventually we did it together. And there you go. Oh, I'm just like, I'm loving the floor. Look at the paint situation. I love this. And this was so random. This was so random, you know. And I thought, let me just throw some paint. And it came out so beautifully. I love it. I love this space. And I was saying, you know, I wish my inside toilets can look like this. I love something with, you know, a bit of personality, a bit rustic. I don't like things polished I like them just you know playful you know I love it like this so guys here you go do it in your own space start in your you know bathroom wherever you know outside space find something and and have fun and have fun look at this so I'm thinking okay so what I'm gonna maybe hang or put in this peg bag you know i'll put in some like sanitary stuff you know sometimes as ladies especially you go to a bathroom you're in a bit of a situation and you can find you know some rescue stuff in this bag ah i love that so there you go there you go as you can see you can read some scripture in the bathroom you don't come out the same in my bathroom anyway so this toilet unit is very old it's actually plasticky but i'm not too worried about it i'm happy i just want it functional working and there's no rush there's no pressure um, as long as the toilet is clean you know 
and whenever i'll keep looking wherever i go if i can find a better unit but basically the toilet unit itself is fine it's just the sitting area um, that i would like to maybe change um, i don't like it's quite flimsy it can break S excuse me so you never want a situation where you know somebody sits on the plastic thing and they break it and they feel terrible you know because they feel like oh my god am i so fat no so you always want you know things to be perfect especially for your guests um that you know they always feel welcome they always feel taken care of that's my thing feel you know that on in every area you feel like you know the host is thinking of you you know from candles to anything to anything that you know the space is easy on your eye and you know a beautiful ambiance and as you can see it it's not extravagant that is the thing for me there's no extravagance you just do it with your own hands this is the biggest thing for me nowadays use your hands you know be creative and have fun have fun have fun and everybody loves it loves it now you see here i had a lot of freedom to play because you know it's like an outside toilet now when you're sharing a space with your husband and you know you always have to uh, deliberate on colors and things and you know so whenever we have to do some work inside the house so you know i have to be considerate you know he's more of a like a plain kind of person he does not like you know drastic colors so at least now that i had the opportunity to do this space you know he sort of now feels you know comfortable and that you know i'm competent and you know i can make good decisions because if i had explained to him that i'm going to do the same thing to an inside bathroom oh my gosh we would have fought about it because he will never see the vision so now at least he gets to like see the vision to its fruition and he knows now you know the next time if i say i want to do this so you know you you build a little bit of trust you know it's always nice when you're sharing a space you're always very um cautious and considerate and you know to make the other person because it's everyone's space so i don't believe in this scenarios where you know someone has to make the house the way they want because we all live here and we all have to be comfortable it's all our space it's all for us to enjoy so luckily for me i like things a bit rustic a bit carefree you know i'm not the polished type you know situation and i mean quite frankly i love a picture perfect home you know some people's homes that i go into i'm like oh my god i wish but the thing is in your own space you've got to be considerate of your family and how they are and so if i had to push to make my space the way i wanted to make it it wouldn't be comfortable for the rest of my family so we would run into a situation where every time then i would have to say oh no you have to clear this you have to do this no i don't like that i feel everyone must be happy comfortable and you know be able to spill something and there's no big train smash you know that's that's how i roll so yeah guys i mean you know check out pinterest check out pinterest this is nobody's intellectual capacity you steal ideas everywhere and you know you you do this you do that and you know you build of course a repertoire as you spend time looking around and doing things so yeah guys thank you for joining me please comment tell me what you think of this space you know 
Let's talk and have a fabulous day. Goodbye.